everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be discussing the newest lipstick shades that have come out in the last little while these have been kind of popular um this is the rare beauty lipsticks in kind words um uh, sorry kind words matte lipstick and i have the shades talented and worthy and the new chanel lipstick this is the rouge allure Luminous Intense Lip Color in the shade 206, which is Illusion. Hold it in the proper way. And then we have number 300 in Forever Nude Style, which is a Dior lipstick. These are the new transfer proof lipsticks, which is what I'm wearing right now. And like I said, number 300. So if you want to see how these look on the lips and how they swatch, then just keep watching. Okay, so as you know, I'm a sucker for nudes, so of course the two that I'm going to start off with are the Rare Beauty, the Kind Words Matte Lipstick. I have the shades Worthy and Talented. Um, so these ones are described as a weightless, buttery smooth matte lipstick that lays down comfortable color in one swipe. So I have a couple different lip liner options here. They're all very similar, but I think for this one we'll go with... This seems to be pretty popular. The Line Loud NYX uh, Lip Pencil in Global, S Global Citizen. So we'll start with, I guess, Talented, which is kind of my go-to, like, nudie shade lipstick. And I have tried all of these lipsticks already, so I do have some thoughts. But I will let you know at the end how I feel. So this is kind of darker than I'm used to. But I'm going to just grab the Makeup by Mario lip liner and just blend it out. Just a tad. And I was really hoping... If any of you watch my channel, you might know that I'm really into like very nude lipsticks. Like someone might say like concealer lip lipsticks. But I really like a true beige lipstick. And I was a little disappointed to see that all of them are a little bit darker nude than what I'm used to. Oops. So this is talented. And this one, I believe, is described as, I think it's described as, like, a true nude beige, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, I probably should have pulled that up. So this is what it looks like. Like, that's definitely not a nude beige. I would say this is more of, like, a caramel or um, even leading, like, terracotta. But we'll see what this looks like. What I normally do with all my lipsticks is mix them anyways. So when I wear this, I usually mix it with a lighter color to make like my perfect nude color. So this is talented. But do you see what I mean? It does definitely have a warmer tone to it. I would not say that this is a true nude beige. I would say even Cover Star would lean more like Nudie Beige by Charlotte Tilbury. Can you see the difference? But I do like this one. Like I said, I do wear it and I mix it with others. The feel of these lipsticks are so smooth. You can tell it's not really accentuating. I do have pretty dry lips. What I do is just take a Q-tip, a clean Q-tip, and just kind of like rub off the lipstick and when I do that it exfol exfoliates the lips at the same time but yeah that's what talented looks like okay so now we're gonna go with worthy worthy is definitely more of like a mauvey toned lipstick and I'm just doing my little trick here 
so we'll just leave that same lip liner on. I was going to do like a more mauve toned lip liner, but maybe I'll do that for the Chanel lipstick instead. So this is Worthy. You can tell it has more of like a pinkier tone to it. And I'll swatch these side by side too if you want. So that is worthy. Keep in mind, my camera for some reason loves to also make everything look a lot warmer than it does in person. So this does to me in my mirror look a little bit more pinky mauve toned compared to in the camera where it looks a little bit warmer. So that is worthy. If you actually look at... I think it was Patty Alonzo did a video and she was talking about this lipstick. That's kind of more what it looks like in my opinion. But yeah. So that is worthy. Again, super comfortable. And I did find the wearability of these were quite long. Um, usually I wear a mask to work and I always put lipstick on just because. <laughs> For no reason. But I did find that they lasted quite a long time on my lips. So we will go ahead and try Chanel next. Because Dior is the darkest one. So I think we'll save that one for last. And I am just going to try to remove some of my lip liner. And I think for this one, I will go in with... Where is it? My NYX. Okay, so I just went ahead and lined my lips with the shade Nude Beige by NYX. And we'll go in with the Chanel. Chanel is described as a vibrant and luminous lipstick. Luminous Intense Lip Color is the name of it. Uh, it has an ultra fine melt away second skin texture. I believe it comes in 30 shades. I think, I don't know, I don't think they're all new. I just think there are some nude colors that are new. This is what the packaging looks like. It's definitely luxe, like you can tell it's expensive. This is the Chanel here, and it just pops up and down, which actually is the same. Sorry, I didn't mention that about the Rare Beauty. I do find these ones kind of come out sometimes on their own, but I have the shade 206, which is the shade Illusion. I'm a little disappointed. If you look at it in my light, it's way darker than I expected it to be. If you look at it online, it looks very nude beige it looks like a um looks like more of a cool toned color and that's more what i'm into so these rare beauty ones although they're beautiful they don't really have any cool tone shades which was kind of disappointing and same with this one i was really expecting it to be cool toned so i was a little disappointed with that but it's definitely more of a glossy texture I would kind of compare it to, maybe not as glossy, but similar to the Dior, uh, Dior Addict, these guys here. And I'm usually a matte kind of girl, but apparently Chanel has a no return policy once you've tried the product, and I was not aware. Because it's weird, when I swatched this on my hand at the office, it looked very like mauve kind of cool undertone. And then when I went outside, I was like, is it orange? I don't know. I feel like I like the look of it better in person than what I'm seeing on my camera. But again, I get that warm undertone sometimes. This is super comfortable, really nice feeling on the lip. Like they said, second skin texture. And I do feel like you almost feel like nothing is there. It's not sticky. It's very balmy in texture. So me personally, I do like the matte. Excuse me for its staying power. But this is really nice. If you're somebody who likes kind of glossy, more comfortable lip. I mean, the Rare Beauty is very comfortable. So I think you'd be good with either one of those. 
but if you like a more balmy kind of I don't want to say glossy because it's not glossy but if you prefer a balmy texture then I would say go with Chanel there's definitely a huge price difference Chanel I think was about 50 bucks Canadian and I think the rare beauty was about 20 25 ish so yeah definitely a huge difference you get two rare beauties for the price of one Chanel so that is illusion and I believe this is a permanent shade there were there were a couple um, limited edition shades there okay so we're gonna take that off I'm going to just line my lips again and come back and then add the Dior okay so now I have lined my lips with Charlotte Tilbury's iconic nude I'm gonna go in with the Rouge Dior forever in the shade 300 forever nude style and this is described as a transfer proof 16 hour wear bare lip feel it's ultra pigmented with a matte finish this is what the packaging looks like very sleek nice and black packaging cd on the top so we'll just go right in this is what it looks like and like i said i'll do a swatch of all of these comparing all of them I saw this on Sophia Sees Beauty and it looked so good on her. Mind you, she has definitely bigger lips than I do, so I feel like of course it's going to look better on her. And I wanted to get something a little bit deeper because I'm always going for, as you can tell, very nude kind of neutrally shades and in person this one to me looks like a rosy brown it's almost like a rosewood tone it looks lighter to me in my camera but in person it comes off a little bit deeper so that is what it looks like i think i need to just fix that a little front area there A little bit more difficult to apply because it's a circular applicator and it doesn't have the point so it's a little bit more difficult to apply so I can feel now when it's drying down you can kind of feel when you put your lips together there's a little bit of a stick but it's not uncomfortable this doesn't feel uncomfortable right now but you can feel that it's drying down a little bit the other ones don't really, like the Rare Beauty, even though it's matte, it doesn't have a dry down. It just stays like a creamy matte the entire time. So this is what it's looking like. You can kind of see it does kind of have a drier appearance for sure than the Rare Beauty. Something I did notice, it's definitely not 16 hour wear. Like right off the bat I did not get 16 hours out of this I I think I had had it on the longest I had it on was about six or seven hours and I did eat in between and I did have fries so obviously there's oil in the fries and it didn't really wipe off but in here you kind of get that like butthole appearance because it does dry down quite a bit like right now it's not really feeling sticky anymore it's feeling pretty comfortable but if you watched um tanya oh my god what's wrong with me i can't remember her last name right now tanya b wells um she talked about these and she did mention that it is hard to kind of like rub your lips together like it's not really possible it is but there's no movement so if you try to like move them and squish them together there's no movement there, there's no creaminess to it so if you don't like that feeling I don't think you would like this I really like it and I really like the color so I'm going to hold on to it um, but I would definitely recommend out of all of them for sure the rare beauty they're the most inexpensive and they just they last a really long time and they're just beautiful and they feel good on the lips so if you're debating between all of these 
depends on your preference. Like I said, if you like kind of like a balmy texture, go with Chanel. If you like a creamy matte, like a matte that doesn't feel super dry and like it's sucking the moisture out of your lips, definitely go with Rare Beauty. But if you want something that's going to last all day and you get good pigment out of, definitely go for Dior. So I really hope this helped. I'm going to quickly do some swatches on my hands and show you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Love ya. Okay, so here we have In the Sunlight, Talented would be the first starting on the left. Worthy is the second one. Illusion 206 from Chanel is the third. And then we have number 300, Nude Look Style, I think. Nude Style Look? <laughs> Something like that. Number 300, anyways, in the Dior. So hopefully that helps a little bit. They're definitely very similar. But as you can see, the second and the fourth shade are definitely more of like a pinky reddish undertone. Sorry, there's my dog over there. Um, but yeah, so hopefully these swatches helped a little bit. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Love ya.